CrossFitters are really good at running a 400. They've got an incredible aerobic capacity from all of the high intensity that they're doing in the gym. But one of the things that we must do is create balance. And what they're forgetting is they're forgetting the importance of the aerobic side of the equation, aerobic efficiency, the ability of taking oxygen in and processing it through your muscles. So what I wanted you to do is take a look at the difference between a high intensity effort and more of an aerobic effort. And where is that crossover in terms of time domain? Because as we go out the time domain, your dependency on the aerobic system becomes more and more important. So in a 400 for time, about 50% of your energy is coming from the aerobic, 50 here. In a mile, it's 80 and 20. In a 5K, it's about 93 and 7. And then in a 10K, it's 97 and 3. So as you move out the endurance curve, this area becomes more and more important. But what, what I'm finding in the programming that I'm doing, and I see it here with Jason, is that they are forgetting the importance of the aerobic side of the equation. Depending, we're going to do either 10 or 12 rounds, depending how fast we get through this warm up. So let's Let's not lollygag, right? Because I really want it. I want 12 rounds. All right, what we're doing is we're going to go 60 seconds on. And I'll explain that in a second with 10 seconds of rest. Now, what we're really trying to do, this is just going to be a mental break. We're going to use this 10 seconds of rest to do only one thing. And that is we're going to focus on a ritual, like Doug had mentioned early on, get in a routine. This, when I get 10 seconds of rest, I'm just trying to figure out a way to lower my heart rate. That is it. All the way to the start line. Keep those arms nice, right? Elbows down and back. Three, two, one, go. You guys got four more. Four more. So in your head, how easy is it? Right? If it's easy, you guys got it. 